means you should use different colors okay so that is the reason i recommend you to take three color pens for your practical examination sometimes it is essential sometimes you can avoid that is depends upon the college and depends upon the hospital policies but try to carry in your apron you just carry your three color pen pens okay you should carry the ball pens okay other than that you must take the pocket articles what is pocket articles what is pocket articles any pocket article items that is familiar with you yes ma'am yeah which one uh, thermometer ma'am yes the next uh, um, uh, um scissors yes correct nail cutter nail cutter measuring tape measuring tape Tunicate. And uh, if you need the scale, mask, all those things are included in the pocket article. So this pocket okay. article also you should carry because that is also help you to perform the procedure in front of the patient and the examiner. Then you have to carry the plastic tray. That is also depends upon the colleges and the hospitals. Okay. So if you are why the plastic tray is important means you need to place all the articles inside the plastic tray. So this plastic tray help you to took the articles okay so that is the reason i recommend you to take the plastic tray that is also depends upon the colleges it will be provided from your colleges only okay second is next is stethoscope you can use the stethoscope because during the time of vital sign the stethoscope is very important everyone have stethoscope is it no ma'am yes ma'am yes okay you can you should buy one stethoscope along with your pocket articles and you can carry the that one you can insert into your pocket next is the writing board this writing board is important why because before the exam day uh, sorry not before the exam day morning of your exam day Okay. morning of your exam day you will get an answer sheet so in the same like your theory examination in that answer sheet you should write the case details and the physical examination basic data regarding the patient care plan all those things for the gnm students already this format is visible already that is printed under some filling uh, fill uh, them some portions are there you should fill the area okay but in case of bsc and the post bsc students they don't have anything is written in inside the answer sheet so they will get a blank paper and they should write the format also okay so that is the reason you can carry a writing board because if you are writing the scare plan or the basic format physical examination if near to the patient side means you uh, this writing board would help you to write uh help you to write okay so i hope it is clear and next is regarding the uniform okay so every colleges they have a clinical uniform separate clinical uniform so you have to wear a proper uniform okay so try to avoid the nail polish cut your nails and uh, wear a proper uniform iron your uniforms and uh, wear a neat chappals then put try to put up your hair if it is girls means uh, try to put up their hair and uh, uh, maintain the perfect uniform code in the practical examination time is it clear okay then next you are going to the patient side so before that they will give you or your teachers you have two teachers for your assessment that are internal examiner and the external examiner okay this external examiner and both internal examiner they will assess you and they will ask the questions and they will also uh, will come near to you and they will ready to watch your procedures okay so before that they will give the answer sheet into your hand so you can go to your assign the patient side and to ask the patients regarding their histories okay then write it a care plan and the patient history and you can plan what are the procedure i need to provide to the patients uh, within this 45 minutes 
minutes okay you will get only 45 minutes within this 45 minutes what are the things we need to do we need to take the history then you have to plan what procedure you are going to do for the particular patient and you have to write the care plan so while writing this care plan it is not necessary to write the implementation and evaluation after your examination again they will give the answer sheet and again you will get a 15 minutes in that 15 minutes you can write Right, the implementation and evaluation. Okay, is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so first yes, of all, we can check. Yeah. Okay. First of all, we can check about the history taking. What are the things are included in the history taking? So, anyone have any idea? What about the format of history taking? What are the information we need to ask to the patient? Any yes, idea? Yes, ma'am. Yes, please. Please but, tell me. Yes, ma'am. Biographical mm -hmm. data. Yes, absolutely right. Biographical data. Then next, um, the past history, present history. Yes. And surgical history. Mm -hmm. Past surgical history. Yes. 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 Pattern, sleeping yes. Pattern. Yes, that is right. And uh, some explanations I will give. And uh, this requirement and this format it is available inside the application a single application inside one requirement section is there that is also free in that requirement section you can see uh, one care plan format and if you separately you can see the physical examination format so that uh, care plan format you can utilize the while you are doing the practical examination okay so regarding the care plan we can start with the care plan so basic assessment you have to do okay so so many students given the answer that is exactly right but additionally i will add some more points okay so first of all the hist health history that are the basic general assessment basic assessment so that include the patient profile include patient profile that include the name you should ask the name what is your name so sometimes uh, so language is a barrier but however try to communicate with them so in that situation you can ask to the ward in charge to given the case note they will help you and they will give the case note that case note also will help you to find the patient name address and the name age everything okay and additionally you should ask the name age then you have to write the ward number unit number ip number what is ip number in patient number yes what is op number okay. yes yes correct so in your examination you will get inpatient inpatient is it because the patient is already admitted so you will get the inpatient so in ip number you should write then along with that you can write the address marital status then the religion religion is not, not compulsory however you can write then date of admission mostly the gnm question paper you can see doa doa means date of admission so that you will get from the case note uh, that is given from the ward nurse and uh, carefully read that one and find the date of admission write the date of admission into your answer sheet okay Additionally, you can ask the education status, okay, regarding the education, then the language. So, mostly nowadays, this language is important. What are the languages they are familiar? Additionally, you can write, that is very important, diagnosis. Exact diagnosis you should write. So, in every hospital, they will separately give the diagnosis. If you have any confusion, you can talk to your ward in charge or the nurses who are working there. They will help you, okay. Then write the diagnosis. So sometimes that is a medical case. Sometimes it is a surgical cases. So surgical cases means uh, you should write the surgical history also. Medical cases means uh, it is not necessary. If they have any past medical history, try to add the surgical histories. Okay. Then next, after this basic data, you should write the reason of seeking health care means why the patient is admitted to the hospital again okay? the complaints and duration so whenever you are writing complaints right try to write the duration also okay so please try to unmute okay thank you then the reason of seeking health care how can you write that the patient or just a name so mr x is admitted with the complaint of breathlessness wheezing dizziness 
uh, which he has and uh, which has been started two days back. Okay, like that the duration also you can ask. You can write. Okay, then after that you should write the present health history of the patient. Currently, what is the situation of the patient? Okay, so currently how it is oriented? Uh, try to unmute your phones. Okay. So present medical history that include how they are appearing, their orientation. Then if they have any surgery means you should write the surgery is done or not. Currently which are the medication they are taking. So these many data. Currently what is the situation of the patient? That you can include in the present health history especially medical history. Okay, that is the surgical history. You should add the surgical history, present surgical history and the past surgical history. Past surgical history means past in few, in uh, earlier, they may be done some surgery like appendectomy, appendicectomy or like that. Okay, so if they have done any surgery means you can add. Okay, next is regarding the family history. Okay, family history including the family tree. So try I to draw the family tree also. Hmm? Then next is socio-economic status and who is the earning member, especially in the community health and nursing care plan. In the community area, you are going to visit and during the time you should write the earning member. That is very, very important. But in the clinical setup, it is not necessary. However, you can add the earning number. Then the history of allergy. Uh, what what are the types of allergies is familiar to you? Allergies. <laughs> yes, then next. Medicine allergy. Yeah, medicine allergy. Okay. Yes, that's correct. Sometimes the patients may be allergic to some drugs. So you should mention that one. Okay. Then dust allergies. There are some food allergies. So if they have any allergy, how it is, uh, how you will get uh, this one? So you should ask to the patient, do you have any allergy? Do you have any history of allergy? So they will tell you, they will give an, a proper explanation and answer. You should write it in your answer sheet. Then next you can add the elimination pattern, including the bowel elimination and the bladder elimination. Okay. These are the things in, included in the basic assessment. So after writing this basic assessment for BSc, PBBC students, definitely you have to write this format also. But for the GNM students, you have, you will get this format. You have to complete. Okay. Then next step is doing physical examination. But this physical examination is a very big topic. Okay. So we created one video and that we, is available in inside the application and it is available in the YouTube channel also so that don't forget to watch that physical examination but however today we are going to give a basic explanation about a physical examination that will be done by Ajish sir sir is available okay sir will explain about the physical examination okay <coughs> Dear students, next we are discussing about the physical examination. Hope I know. Hope all of you have the idea about the physical examination because we are the GNM and the BSc students, post BSc students also is there. Then do you have any idea about the physical examination? What is meant by physical examination? What is the use of physical examination? Do you have any idea? Yes, sir. Then contribute your point about the physical examination uses of physical examination physical examination methods sir. what all are the common other ways you can tell like that what is the meaning of physical examination 
uh, it is also known as head to foot examination then in your exam otherwise in the practical exam also in the theory exam also physical examination is a one of the important aspect as a nurse as a nursing student or otherwise in the as a nurse you should know about the proper physical examination physical examination means it is a complete assessment of the patient's physical and mental status okay when you are done the otherwise when you are doing the physical examination we can able to get the complete assessment of a of the patient's physical and mental examination it means to assess the physical and mental abnormalities okay it is also known as head to foot examination then it is also known as the complete assessment okay complete physical and mental assessment of the patient clear yes, yes sir. sir okay then yes, sir okay then it is a format is there to how to do the physical examination then how, how to do the physical examination what is the format do we have any idea first first sir inspection sir Ah, uh, inspection. That is in the methods of physical examination. What are the methods of physical examination? Inspection, palpation, percussion, auscultation. Auscultation. Very good. Then what are the methods of physical examination? Inspection, palpation, auscultation, and percussion. Okay, these all are the four types of methods of physical examination. Then what is by inspection? inspection we are inspecting the body okay general examination or otherwise we are inspecting in the body looking at the body that is in the inspection with the eyes we are looking at the body then palpation means what is the meaning of palpation uh, then feeling the body with the fingers or hands then all auscultation it is used to stethoscope to hear the sounds sounds then listening to sounds usually with a stethoscope then percussion percussion it is a tapping okay by the tapping okay by the tap tapping we should get the sound then producing sounds usually by tapping on specific areas of the body then physical examination mainly that is in the four types of physical examination inspection means looking at the body then palpation feeling the body with fingers or hands auscultation means listening to the sounds usually with a stethoscope then percussion producing sounds usually by the tapping on specific areas of the body what all are the main methods of physical examination what are the methods of physical examination inspection inspection palpation auscultation these are the main methods of the physical examination then now we are discussing about the format of physical examination hope all of you know the format of physical examination i think gnm students already the gnm students already having the booklet in the practical booklet that format is there according to that format you should fill fill to the format okay then physical health assessment general assessment okay general assessment what all are the things we are assessing general assessment of the patient but skin color any lesion okay then general mm -hmm. assessment the next color change cyanosis can be present or, or not okay then height and weight of the patient height and weight of the and patient and the bmi then, yeah okay mainly we are assessing in the general assessment that is in the height and weight of the patient then grooming and hygiene of the patient these all are the things we are assessing general appearance then height weight grooming and hygiene these all are the things we are assessing the general appearance or otherwise in the general assessment then we should check the vital signs okay what all are the vital signs टेशन 
system wise examination okay according to the system okay according to the system of the body we are assessing the other ways according to the organs okay different type of organs other ways in the system of the body we are assessing the uh, assessing the patient okay then that is in the physical examination first we should assess the head then neck <coughs> chest and back then abdomen <coughs> genito urinary system anus and rectum and lower and upper extremities okay what all are the uh, system wise how we can assess the physical examination yes. it yes. is also known as head to foot examination we are yes. assessing the head to the foot the time we are starting uh, starting with uh, which or uh, which system head and neck head chest neck. and back chest, chest and back, back. then Ab genital urinary system abdomen, abdomen. genital urinary system anus and rectum and upper, upper and lower, and lower, lower extremity. extremity okay then in the head what all are the things you are assessing i hair we should assess the hair scalp face eyes and vision ears and hearing nose and sinus mouth and oropharynx okay what all are the things we are assessing in the head hair hair scalp face eyes and vision ears and hearing nose and sinus mouth and oropharynx we are assessing the head then in the neck nodule Uh, nodules lymph nodes trachea then thyroid gland and thyroid. neck veins okay what all are things it will come in the neck then lymph nodes trachea yeah. thyroid, thyroid. Thyroid, thyroid gland then carotid arteries and neck veins okay then next is the chest and <coughs> back as chest as and back what all are the things you are assessing as soon as to hear skin okay, skin you are assessing chest shape and size okay size and shape of the chest then lungs heart heart means we should assess the heart sound then s1 s2 As heart two. sound we should assess then <coughs> breast we are assessing okay breast okay for what is the main uh, use of the uh, purpose of breast examination <laughs> what is the purpose of main to find out to find out if there is a, if there are any lumps or anything <coughs> okay mainly that we should assess the uh, using for the breast examination that is in the breast cancer to assess the breast cancer that is the purpose of mainly we are to the breast examination in the chest and back then skin chest shape and size lungs heart heart mainly we should assess the s1 and s2 heart sounds then spinal column breast breast we are assessing then abdomen in the abdomen what all are the things we are assessing bowel movement bowel movement specifically bladder and bowel examination specifically bladder and bowel examination then abdominal sounds okay in the abdominal sounds we can use the methods of otherwise to assessing the chest and back otherwise in the abdomen we can use the mainly in the methods of physical examination then what all are the methods of physical examination inspection for palpation auscultation and percussion auscultation and percussion what are the methods of physical examination in the assessing the abdomen we can use the types of otherwise methods of physical examination then, then should assess the genito urinary system abnormalities then anus and rectum we should assess then next is the lower extremities and upper extremities mainly we are using the <coughs> joint range of motion we are assessing here okay joint and range of motion we are assessing <coughs> here this is about the physical examination then in the format general survey or otherwise in the general appearance then vital signs then should assess the head <laughs> head neck chest and back abdomen genito urinary system anus and rectum then lower and upper extremities okay these all are the form this is the format of physical assessment clear yes sir yes sir
Dear students, hope all of you understood the class. Thank you, yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. So I Thank hope you, you got an un okay. Wait. I hope you got an a basic understanding regarding the physical examination. Is it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, ma yes, ma okay. Yes, so we discussed we discussed first the basic assessment, then the physical examination. Then after you done your physical examination, then after that uh, before the physical examination you done the basic assessment. Everything you written in the answer sheet. Okay. Then what is the next step? The procedure. What is the uh, in this practical examination? What is the next step? The next step is doing a procedure. Okay, mostly you have to, mostly, one minute. Okay, so mostly you have to perform a procedure in front of the examiners. So, as I mentioned earlier, we have two examiners. One is the internal examiner and another is external examiner. So, what are the procedures you can perform in front of the examiner? That is, depends upon the patient situation. Okay, if the patient have a breathing difficulty or the patient admitted with the problem, the diagnosis is COPD. Assume that the patient is uh, uh, admitted with the diagnosis of COPD. Uh, anyone, can you give this answer? What is the full form of COPD? Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Absolutely right. The chronic COPD. The COPD is related with the chest and the respiratory problems is there. So, ask your students what are the procedure or care you can give for that particular patient. Any idea? Position. Yeah. Yes. First is position. You can position the patient. That is right. Any other? Then assess the breathing oh. breathing uh, level. Yes, you can assess the breathing the level, and the same way you can give the health education regarding the you know, deep breathing coughing exercise. Okay. Any other any other procedure or care you can given for a patient admitted with a breathing disorder or COPD? Mobilization. Mobilization. Uh, exercises. Uh, okay. Then. Positioning exercises, postural drainage. Then. Prop top bed. Hmm? Yeah. Prop top bed. Okay. Then. Nebulization. You Nebulization. Yes. Nebulization. So, lot of procedure you can done for this patient. Okay. Everything considered as a one procedure. Actually, during the practical examination time, you should perform two, only two procedures to the patient okay so one it will be assessed by the internal examiner another one will be assessed by the external examiner okay so you done the procedure everything is done by very smoothly so your 45 minutes is completed then for doing this procedure additionally you will get a two hour approximately two hour then you are completed your procedure also then what is the next step Everything is depends upon the colleges and the hospitals. Okay. And actually we are talking about the basic procedures. Okay. So uh, you completed all those things. The last step of practical examination that is VIVA. Okay. Is it audible? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So in the VIVA session, you have two members is there. 
who is the examiner one is the uh, internal examiner another is the external examiner both of those two examiners they will provide maximum of 50 mark so total mark is 100 so you can get maximum of 100 mark in your practical examination so that include the viva portion also so they will ask the basic question and you should perform the viva session well so definitely you will get a great mark if you are getting a great mark in your practical examination what will happen if you lost some of the mark in the theoretical examination we can compensate with the mark of this practical examination is it okay so commonly uh, first year students maybe they have little confusion but any other second year third year fourth year students they are familiar with this viva sessions some questions are is commonly expected okay so before going to the examination you should prepare little bit you should prepare for attending or giving the answers for this viva session okay so first of all they will ask mostly they will ask the question based on the disorder okay well, your patient you are selected one patient for that patient what was the diagnosis and they will ask the diagnosis based on the diagnosis they will ask some question like what is the definition of copd if you got the patient with the copd means they will ask what is copd what is the full form of copd okay please explain the signs and symptoms of copd okay then what is the basic management of copd like uh, as a nurse how can you give the care for the patient what are the health education you can provide for a patient who is admitted with the copd like that questions completely related with that present day disorder you will get the question is it clear yes yes ma'am yeah other than that you will get some basic questions some basic questions you may there is also a chance for getting some basic questions that are uh, for the first year students uh, if the fundamentals of nursing uh, practical exam is so they will ask some questions like uh, what about the vital sign what is vital sign so what is vital sign yeah what is vital sign temperature bp pulse respiration pulse bp okay tpr bp simply we can tell like that tpr bp temperature pulse respiration and blood pressure oxygen saturation also is there okay so after you are giving the correct answer they may be go uh, they may be ask additional questions like uh, what is the normal value of bp any answer then uh, what is the name of the equipment that is used for uh, doing this measuring the bp that may be a question any idea uh, and additionally, they may be asked, what is the use of stethoscope? What is the use of? Yeah. Okay. Okay. What is the use of stethoscope? They may be asking question. Auscultation. It is used for the auscultation. Yes. Auscultation. Yes. Then. Auscultation is very important because already Sari has taken the classes and you are very familiar. This auscultation method is very important while doing this physical examination and basic assessment. So, for this, doing this auscultation method, the stethoscope is very important. Or sometimes, uh, there may be asked some questions related with the medication. What is the use of this medication? Okay. What is the use? So, like for example, um, um, Randa. A drug named as Randac. What is the use of Randac? Antihistamines. Yes. Any any other answers? Randac. Mm. Okay. Gastro resistant. Yes. You can give the answers like this only. Okay. So and uh, sometimes, as we know that we are not a, everyone is not an expert because in the exam time you have enough tension. Okay. So that is the reason you may forget some of the answer. So you don't know about the answer, you can talk to the examiner, sorry, I don't know about this answer. Okay, directly you can talk to the uh, examiner. Okay, they never scold you, they will ask an another question. 
okay so don't be get tensed with this viva session i saw that a lot of students they are very panic before the viva sessions hmm? so if they get panic means they will go to the bathroom and they will drink sometimes they, they will get a dizziness lot of issues will be happen okay actually this viva session is very easy hmm? so if you have the enough knowledge means you can talk to the uh, if they are asking the questions you can directly give the answers every questions are very easily and it is completely related with your nursing profession as a nursing student or a nurse you are very expert in that so confident with the confident you can give the answer to the examiner sometimes it may be wrong so they will tell that this is a wrong answer okay so that is also not an issue sometimes you don't know about the answer directly you should talk i don't know regarding the answer okay so for the practical examination you have to attend the viva session for one both of the internal and the external examiner both members they will ask different questions so one member only the one examiner they will ask only four to five questions okay so within that for to within a 5 to 10 minutes your viva session will be over okay is it clear yes, yes ma'am ma okay ma'am 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 ma
regarding your nursing life or the student nurses life you can create a video <laughs> one minute video or less than one minute video and you can share to our official whatsapp number that is available in the instagram page and inside the application everywhere that whatsapp number is available you can share your videos creative videos you can create ones and the first price is for 10000 rupees second price for 5000 rupees maybe you are the winner and you can also showcase your talents if you are interested you can also join okay that is a competition and uh, is the time up to uh, 2024 january 12th okay so if you are interested you can also join and every participants will get a surprising gift hampers certificates all those things okay if you are not interested you can just share this informations with your friends also madam madam okay Ma'am, 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 do you uh, take online lecture? Online classes, like a free uh, this webinar sessions, we can conduct. Yeah. If it okay. is useful for you, means uh, we can conduct. Uh, okay, ma'am. Okay. okay, that is also ma'am, depends I, I upon hope. your interest. If you are talking <coughs> or you, you want more classes, means definitely, definitely we will organize the classes. Ma'am, I have one doubt, ma'am. Okay. Re- regarding for uh, the Snega University, that is for uh, Rajiv Gandhi University under or what S- university? Snega University. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, Snega University it is not there. I think uh, you maybe think about the Snega College. Ah, Snega College. Yes. Yeah, that yes. Uh, college yes, is in, uh, that college is in Karnataka means uh, definitely that is under the Rajiv Gandhi University. Yes, ma'am. हम अभी ग्यारह लड़की हैं पुणे से स्नेहा यूनिवर्सिटी में. In Karnataka, in Karnataka, everyone yes. are writing exam under Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Every okay, state okay. they have their own universities. Okay, okay, ma'am. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay. Then every universities are reputed. Don't worry, you can write the exam. No issues. So the uh, so the exams will be conducted in Rajiv Gandhi University. Yes, exactly. If you are studying in Karnataka, means it Rajiv Gandhi University exam for the BSc and the PBBS student, GNM students. That is the board, Karnataka Board of Examination. And then sometimes you are studying in Kolkata, means it that is Kolkata Board of Exam. Okay. Okay. In Assam, that is Assam Board. The universities that is in the Assam, that is depends upon the state. Health universities are there for every state. So before exam, ma'am, before exam, six months before they will uh, inform us, or uh, how they will inform us? Uh, that you exam. should uh, uh, that everything you should ask to your corresponding colleges. I don't know which college you are studying and all, because here different okay. students are there from different region and different. They are studying in different colleges. I don't know about your colleges and your places, but uh, on behalf of Nursing Guru, we are creating some webinars. I hope this is useful for the students and you can improve. You can get a good score, is it? So that is the reason we are organizing this webinars. Okay, okay. Actually, these okay. are Thank the free you. webinars. Everyone can participate. If you are feeling that is useful, definitely you can participate. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No. Thank Ma'am, you. I am interesting on lecture. So we uh, will take you uh, lecture. Uh, okay. The video please. classes is there. Please. Video classes, <laughs> okay. The video classes is available. Uh, and okay. That is also in the YouTube channel and inside the application is there. You can watch that video definitely. That watch uh, the videos will be taken by the different expert teachers, and okay. they are specialized in their own subjects. So you can sit with. Them. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay ma'am. So Thank mostly you. we ma'am. are planning to conduct the live sessions again. So if you are interested, okay. we can conduct. Is it needed? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> ma'am, live so, classes is better, ma'am. Regard for me. There is Apple phone. We cannot download that system, so it is you know it is not useful for me, ma'am. So it what is I will do? Not ma'am. able to download. You can utilize the application and study from that. So that is the only option now. It is available, but that is the good resources. If you are studying that one, definitely you will get passed. Hundred percentage that you will get passed. Okay, I'm sure that if you are studying from the application, definitely you will get pass because that is created by lot of expert teachers and lot of teachers are worked a lot for that. 
Okay, so, so they, don't worry. That is a best best solution for the nurses. If it is possible, yeah, yeah. you can study from that. That is also depends upon the individual. Okay, so but uh, the inside data is hundred percentage clear data and accurate data. Don't worry about that. You can just uh, read that data before your exam time. So while you are writing this exam time, it will be it will be help you to remember more points. So getting so a good Apple point that is better. Apple phone I cannot download, ma'am. So yeah, that is available. Not available in the uh, uh, iPhone. So you, you just do yeah. one thing: check with the uh, Instagram page and the YouTube channel. You will get a lot of videos there. And in the same way, we will conduct the live session. Try to participate all the live sessions. Okay, okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. So I hope it is clear for everyone. Can we wind up? Yes, ma'am. Any yes, doubt? Ma okay. Yes, ma'am. No doubt. Okay, so thank you so yes, much for being with us today. And uh, just inform regarding these classes and the application to your friends. Sometimes it may be useful for them. So you can give an information to your friends. Okay. So along with that, don't forget to participate in the real competition. Any doubts, you can contact us at any time. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Hello, Ruhi. Hello. Hello.